Doctor, now one of the things is the agriculture uh, uh, factor, which we have to, uh, I mean, uh, engaging in uh, organic agriculture is not a bad thing. Uh, it, is, it is what the world is looking at right now, but apparently our approach was wrong. Now, does that mean we have to do away with it? Well, as I mentioned when I began, we are a small economy. If we get four or five things right, we can get back on track. I'm, I'm so disturbed by this pessimism that everybody, all the leaders in Sri Lanka are so pessimistic. That shows their incompetence. Yeah. But we have now, for example, if you take agriculture, take tourism, take IT, take garments, and take our traditional tea, rubber, and coconut exports. If we hit good returns on those things, and I'll tell you how we can do that, then we can get back to a growth trajectory. It's not mm. difficult. Now, if you take agriculture, <coughs> for example, as I mentioned, we only needed a little more production. We have to take a decision regarding what do we want at this time. After this huge investment from state council and before that on irrigation, and we need only a few more steps to be self-sufficient and in fact export rice. Only a total moron who is a minister of agriculture will take a decision to go on to things like this. There are good things. Those have to be factored in at the proper time. What was needed was food security and also ensured that we were self-sufficient after the big investment in Mahavali, it was possible. Now see what happened <coughs> when Mr. Jaya Jawadana was the president. He put the two of the best minds, Lalit and Garmini, in the agriculture sector. Since that time, tell me one person of any value who has been in the agriculture sector. Not, not a single fellow, you know, but they have messed up the whole thing. And a country could have, with that investment, if you look at that investment, we have to be a plus export-oriented agriculture. We have provided water, we have provided all those facilities. So that can come back if it is done properly. Now the next maha harvest would have been even, would have been even a bigger bumper crop, but for the failure to provide the fertilizer at the proper time, fertilizer given by international authorities could not be distributed. Then post harvest losses. About 20% of our crop, what we earn is lost because of post, because nobody wants to take a decision. They don't want to kill the wild pigs, they don't want to kill the monkeys, they, but they prefer to kill the people. You know, like they prefer to kill the farmer than kill the wild pig. As a result, over 20% loss on post harvest. Then they can't get, they can't get the proper arrangement about to sell the produce, to sell the paddy, to mill the paddy, to bring it to market. That transaction has not been fine. Every time there is a harvest coming in, there's a conflict between the farmer, the minister, the, uh, the miller, the big uh, millers, the small millers, the banks, total confusion. And nobody has been able to settle that. So step by step, step by step, what, what is a winning ticket has been torn up by these fools who have been managing the agriculture sector. That's what. Then take tourism. I mean, Sri Lanka has all those facilities, what is called long haul tourism. We can easily get six, seven million tourists to come into this country. If we can, get, now the government wants to do everything. It doesn't want to trust the hoteliers. It doesn't want, if you take that tourist board, the amount of licenses that have to be, you know, inspections done by the tourist board. Who are these fellows who go on inspections? Some pumped up, you know, catcher is going and inspecting five star hotels. You know, I was, I, I stopped all that when I was secretary. For example, I'll give you, it's, it's humorous. Now, uh, when uh, they said, you, the tourist board at that time said, we can't uh, give you class one status if you don't put carpets in all your rooms. Then I went into that. In the beaches, you can never have carpets because <laughs> people see. bring sand into the yeah. rooms. So I said, what a fool you are, just delete that from your criteria. Then only the beach hotels could get number one class. So this type of absolute state intervention by incompetence has ruined this country. There's no two words about it. We can come back, take the IT sector, take our export sector. 
when you export tea now, I, I think you had had some program. If you export tea, rubber, coconut, the number of licenses that you have to get, the number of people you have to subject yourself for inspections. So the main problem in Sri Lanka, I'm convinced, I've been a parliamentary for close on 30 years, is the interference of the, we are a statist country. We are not a, a capitalist country, we are not a communist country, we are a statist country. Everything, you have to go to some guy, some pooba, yeah. you have to get a license, you have to pay bribes, then you know for a farmer, there are 20 people in that village who are interacting with him. Village level officials, you can't even Jesus. know all the names. Yeah. And everyone is stopping that farmer from doing his job. 